Today I'm going to be doing a video about how to use a flasher. Seems kind of basic, but there's a lot of people that don't know how to use a flasher. They don't know what it is, what do the buttons do, what do the knobs do, you know, how do you read it. So I'm going to kind of simplify everything in the best way that I can for you guys. Alright then, let's get to it. I have the Markham M1. They have a lot of different versions of the flasher. I have the Markham M1 which is the the most basic of the M models by Markham. I think when I bought this one it was $300 at Fleet Farm. That was last year, uh, beginning of 2018. So basically what you got here, hold on let me get up a little closer so you can see what's going on here. All right so for starters first thing you want to do when you drop your transducer in the water is you want to grab this bottom knob here turn it to on. That's basically your power. First and foremost, the most basic thing that you need to know about a flasher every time you turn it on is this big line up here is where you are sitting. This is your water column. So if you were to drop your lure in, you would drop it in from here and you would see it go like this. This is the bottom. The first solid thing you see from where you are sitting is the bottom. All the rest of this is static. Don't even pay attention to any of this over here. This is the bottom, and between that is going to be fish and your lure. In the center here you have your numbers. It tells you basically how deep you are. Zero feet, one feet, two feet, three feet, and it goes all the way around. Right now I'm in very shallow water. I'm only in three feet of water. The thing about this is it does not like to work in shallow water very well. It doesn't read anything closer up to you than about two and a half feet down. So the best bet if you're going to use a flasher number one is to make sure you're in deeper water otherwise I would recommend some sort of camera or something the cool thing about this is that it picks up really small jigs I'm about to throw just a really small tungsten down there super small all right I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in there now should see it come right off the top ah, there it is see it down at the bottom there That is my lure. The sad thing about this Markham M1 is the one thing that I don't like about it is see how it cuts off at just after two feet there? It does not read anything higher than about two and a half feet. So if you're planning on using this to fish in shallow water, it's probably not going to work too well. Another thing you guys should know is your gain. If you're not picking up your lure there, if, if it's not, if you're not picking it up on the screen here, all you do is turn this knob up. See how it's getting wider? You're picking up, you're sending out more signal. Now if you turn it down, everything's gone. You don't pick up anything. So when you turn this knob up, the more gain you put, the less battery you're gonna have for the day. The interference button. All that is is if you're fishing around a bunch of friends or you're around a group of people that are fairly close by, you can push the interference button and it's gonna kinda cut out everybody else's signal. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of static and interference. The zoom button, I personally have never used before, so I can't give you guys any input, but I do know if you're in deeper parts of the lake or if you're in really deep water, it helps you zone in on, say, a section of the water that you wanna kinda of zone into. The system is very basic. Um, there's really not much to it. Like I said, this is the M1 model of the Markham. Um, they have an M3, an M5. Um, the way you charge the M1, is uh, just right in the back here. It's just got a little flat. You pull out your little charger, plug it into the wall. It doesn't take very long to charge. Yeah, I'm in very shallow, very clear water right now. I don't know if you guys can, you can probably see my lure down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm in very shallow water here. I guess the number one thing I would say about at least this M1 Markham is if you're going to be using it, don't plan on using it in very shallow water. Um, I actually have an underwater camera, which is what I use in shallower water. But it, it's got the essentials and it's one of the cheaper models, so and it gets the job done. I'm catching fish with this thing. I've had it for this will be my second season. Haven't had any issues, no battery problems, nothing. As long as you take care of it, it should last. 
So if you enjoyed my video, make sure to hit thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, my God.